Yes, I've had a few injuries throughout my career, and this was, you know, probably yeah, be in the top five uh, sort of the worst injuries that I've had. Um, so I was playing Munster and Munster, and five minutes into the game, I went to put a, a grubber kick uh, through the gap. So my leg was going in one direction to, to kick the ball, and, and the opponent came and uh, tackled and, and hit my knee in the complete opposite direction. And I didn't think it was all that serious, but uh, you know, had the scans as, as you do on, on the Monday, and obviously sort of realised I'd done a bit of damage uh, to my knee. You know, when you get an injury, all you want to know is, okay, well, when can I play again? But there was a little bit of uncertainty there, which was uh, was always frustrating. And I actually went to Dublin and did a, a three-week rehab program there at a clinic there that, that specialises in knee rehabilitation. And it was really intense. Um, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I knew I wanted to give this process 100%. Well done, well done, well done. I was in there at nine o'clock every day and, and walking out of, out of the rehab clinic uh, six o'clock every night, you know, five days a week. The knee injury, basically, it's about building up all the muscles around your knee. So working on your, your quads, your glutes, your, your hamstrings, your calves, making sure that they're really stable. Last two, quicker. Go! Nice quick change. Go! Go! You know, having an opportunity to, to go back to the drawing board and just do some really basic body weight exercises, activating some of these muscles that haven't been uh, activated for a while was, was really important. One, one and a half. Much better. Go! Yes, one, yes. You know, it's pretty tough, you know, when you've been playing at the highest level and you're having to go back and you're doing these small sort of strengthening exercises that you're really struggling with. It's, uh, you know, can play you know, a few mind games, but it's what was needed to, you know, at that point in time to obviously get to the, the end goal of back playing again. Nice and tall, lovely, great belt. So I had a couple of weeks of just looking after the injury and then another three weeks of, you know, back at the club, you know, getting some, some sort of change of directions, getting a rugby ball back in my hand again. <laughs> Beginning to, to kick again, and I did that for maybe two, three weeks before I could play again. You know, a lot of people that, you know, love rugby and, and watch rugby, they often don't see what goes on behind the scenes and when you play you know, they expect you to play at, at the highest level you know, every time and to be honest that's my expectation as well but having a, a setback and an injury like that you know to come back uh, and play you know your best game you've ever played is it's quite tough um, so you know there's a, a lot of confidence that, that gets uh, knocked out of you when you're on the sidelines you're not able to play and it actually takes a few games to get that confidence back. So, you know, I'm not thinking about my knee, not thinking about my injuries. I can just go out there and play. And, you know, when you have that freedom, that's when you play your best.